everybody welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new vlog today is currently saturday i'm just about to nip out there's a few places that i need to go i need to try and go get my nails sorted out because they're an absolute mess i always go to the same woman to do my nails like she she's been doing them for years now and i'd never go anywhere else but the timing's been a bit off because she went on holiday so i had to skip a week two weeks sorry and then i was meant to be going next week but i couldn't go so i had to cancel so i've not been able to see her for like four weeks that'll have been in total so last time i had to just go to a different salon to get these done um, and i'm gonna have to do the same this time but then i'm back with her and i'm booked up till christmas so it's not gonna happen again um but saying that i've got an i've had an infection on my nail right you probably can't even see that but it was absolutely horrendous it was like oozing i know that's disgusting but it was oozing i've been on antibiotics for it so i don't know whether i'm gonna have to leave this finger and not get it done to be fair i do keep putting plasters on anyways because it's infected so i feel like i'm gonna get them to not do this one wrap it in a plaster and just do the rest because I just can't leave them any longer they're horrendous but i'm gonna to have to just go find a random place because it's saturday everywhere is going to be absolutely packed so i'm just going to go to wherever i possibly can this is the last time i need to go somewhere else and i'm back with megan who usually does my nails which is good because i've missed her um so yeah i need to go get my nails done i also want to go to b&m because i want to get some storage boxes because today another dreaded task i feel like whenever i've got a dreaded task to do i always pick up the camera because you motivate me and hopefully i motivate you but there's so many places in my house and I'm not going to get them all done today. Even if I get one done today, I'll be happy. But for example, understairs cupboard is an absolute dumping ground. Like that needs sorting. Probably not going to happen today, let's be realistic. I need to do our kitchen cupboards. I think that's maybe my priority. Kitchen cupboards are horrendous. The bathroom drawer is a mess. My dressing table drawers are a mess. My bedside table drawers are a mess. You know, things like that where you just need to take everything out been a load of stuff that you don't use and like proper neaten them up like i say there's all of those to do but i'm not going to do them all today i'd be happy if i just get one done today to be honest i might try and do the kitchen cupboards and potentially the bathroom drawer but the kitchen cupboards is my main aim so i want to go to b&m because i want to get some like storage you know like some baskets or something because we have baskets in the kitchen in one of our cupboards and like one's full of crisps one's full of like little bars and they're an absolute dream like they're they're perfect for like storing things in your kitchen um but some of the other cupboards don't have it and i've just literally chucked stuff in so i'm gonna go get some of those because I don't know if you guys agree but I feel like getting stuff like that makes me motivated it makes me want to do it it's a little bit like when you clean if you buy new cleaning products it makes you want to do it more do you know what I mean so I'm going to go to B&M see if I can get some of those um and then I think as well today I want to bake I really want to bake some cookies I honestly cannot remember the last time I baked just normal cookies like I know we do cookie bar a lot but actual cookies i feel like i want to bake some of those today um and then we are also going to go to the cinema later on as well so i thought you could spend the day with us a very long intro i feel like my intros are getting longer and longer and longer but i thought you could spend the day with us so if you are excited for this vlog then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up tommy's actually at work today well he's at work this morning so he should be back this afternoon so it is just you and i for a little bit also got my hair done you can probably tell honestly my roots were that bad if you couldn't see my ponytail look it looked like i was a brunette because my roots were that bad but now i'm nice and fresh which i'm happy about i've also had my extensions taken out so my hair feels very weird is probably the right word you guys that wear extensions you'll know that feeling when you get brand new fresh hair um so yeah i'm leaving these out for a week and then i'll be getting new which is exciting we also had the car valet the other day right and it is literally you know when you don't want to get in your car because you're like i don't want to mess it up i mean we actually had a mcdonald's in here last night so it's probably not as good but it literally feels so nice and clean i'm absolutely buzzing with it but i'm trying my best like to not touch anything now um but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go see if i can find anywhere to get these sorted and hopefully as well we can find some cute little baskets guys i've just been and got my nails done and it's safe to say it's probably the worst i've ever had my nails but i mean what did i expect from going in on a saturday and literally walking in anyways i went for this beautiful lime green color it's lovely um but you won't even be able to see it but if you look close up there's like bubbles in the nails they're just not very neat at all but do you know what i'm just grateful that i've not got chip nails and they're only for two weeks and then i'm back with megan and it will all be fine but i mean i don't know why i expected on a busy saturday do you know what i mean saturday is probably the busiest day i don't know why i expected to be able to walk into somewhere then be free and then also be good but 
I mean, at least we've not got chipped nails. Also, with the one with the bit of the infection, I went in thinking I was just going to have an odd colour nail and I was fine with that because I'd have just put a plaster around it. It's not really infected as much anymore. It's more, it's like scabbing up. It's getting a lot better. Um, but she managed to actually go around and file it around my pearly, let's call it. Um, and then she managed to put a colour on, but there is a little bit of the other colour there just because she couldn't get in. But like I said, I expected to have like the old colour on there, so I'm absolutely fine with that. I'll probably just wrap a plaster around that little bit anyway, which I have been putting a plaster on it to like keep it clean and stuff, so that's fine. So nails are done. Not the greatest, but they're done. We don't have chip nails. So that's one thing ticked off the list. I'm now actually just going to nip and get myself something to eat because I'm so hungry. I think I'm going to go to Couplins, which actually is so funny because I mentioned Couplins in our Costa video. And so many of you said, like, what a throwback because you used to always go to Couplins. So I'm going to go to Couplins or I might go to Greg's. One of the two, I'm just going to go grab a quick sandwich and then we'll go to B&M and hopefully they'll have some baskets. I am now back from the shops. I actually managed to get some baskets, which I was very happy about. I also nicked to Boots as well and I also went to Morrison's. So I thought I could just show you what I picked up. So from B&M, I got this pack of woven baskets, which I thought were really nice. You get a big one and then you also get two small ones inside. In fact, let me open it up. Um, and it cost £10, which I thought was good for a set of three. And these are were literally exactly what I was looking for for the kitchen. I feel like these would be perfect to put in the cupboards. Okay, I need some scissors, so I'll show you after. Um, but I also feel like these would be really nice for a hamper as well. You know, like for a birthday or for Christmas or something. I feel like this would make a really nice hamper. So yeah, that's the first thing that I picked up. And then the second thing that I picked up was these. Now we have some of these in our bathroom drawer already, but they're more this colour. So I thought these would go perfectly with the bathroom. Um, so what I'm going to do, I, like I said, I don't think I'm going to end up sorting the bathroom today. I think I'll just sort the kitchen. But when I do sort the bathroom drawer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the neutral colour and replace it with the black ones just because it goes with our bathroom a bit more so again with this you've got a set of three these are rope baskets again a big one and then two small ones inside right, let me show you this one show you how big the small ones are so that's a small one so you get two of those and then one of those and they fit literally perfect in our bathroom drawer so i'm gonna swap those over and then the only other thing that I got from B&M was just another one of these. I feel like I've shown you these in a haul before. Um, but they're just this zip storage box. They're really big. When you open them out, they actually come really big. And I like these for putting things in the loft. So a few months ago, I actually put my all my woolly jumpers in one of these in the loft. But I'm thinking, again, not today. But at some point, I'll put all my like bikinis and summery bits in here in the loft. And then the one that my jumpers come out of, I'll have a spare one to put other stuff in. Um, I just find them really good to pop stuff in the loft or the garage. They'd be also really good for like Christmas stuff. I know I've mentioned Christmas twice, but it's just round the corner, which I'm so excited about. Um, so that's everything that I picked up from B&M. Then I just quickly nipped two boots and literally bought three things. First things first, boring plasters. Again, I want to cover that nail up. Um, I then just bought another bottle of this V moisturising lotion. This honestly is so good, it's £8, I use this every single evening, it lasts ages as well, it's fragrance free so it's really nice on your skin. Um, so in the morning I'll use my SPF, uh, it's a moisturiser with SPF in Then every evening I use this but I'd run out. I think it was like £8 so I got one more of those and then I'd also run out of my got to be eyebrow gel. Now I've spoken about this before in vlogs. Um, but just in case you're new around here, this is a got to be eyebrow, I think it's called an eyebrow glue. But this is what I use on my eyebrows, so I'll carve them and then like to brush them up I use this. And it's so, so good. It is literally like the got to be gel. It makes them stay in place all day long. And I think this is usually £7, but it was half price. It was £3.50 in boots. You can also get it off Amazon as well. I'll try and find the link and link it down below for you all so good again lasts you so long and i couldn't be without this now it's just so good like i say it keeps your eyebrows in place it smells unreal it smells like they've got to be products if you smell those before um and the good thing about this as well it's not just for your eyebrows so it says on the front it's gel for brows and edges so it's also good you know like for example flyaways here it's good to like brush your flyaways back eyebrows um I'm trying to think what else you could use it for i think it'd pretty much just be those two but don't know about you but i always get flyaways especially if you're wanting like a slick back hairstyle this is perfect so 
yeah, literally they're the only three things that I bought from Boots. And then finally I went to Morrison's and I just picked up some snacks for later, a card for our nephew and then loads of baking stuff. So I thought we could go and bake together first because I thought whilst the cookies are in the oven I can then clear out the cupboards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go lay everything out on the side, get my Jane Patisserie book out which I've not used in the longest time ever and then I'll talk you what I've got and what I'm going to make. Okay so I've decided I'm actually not going to use my book today but we do need to start using that more. I'm going to talk about that in a second but the recipe that I found, I found it on the internet and it's not in, in her book so I'm just going to follow the one off her website for now for this one. Um, so what's the recipe? Triple chocolate New York City cookies. Giant gooey triple chocolate New York City cookies based on the famous cookies from New York City. So that's what we're going to be making. So the one thing I love about our website is it lists literally like all the ingredients down one side and then it tells you the instructions. So it's not like you're having to keep scrolling and scrolling. It's literally in bullet point format. It tells you exactly what you need to do. So the ingredients that you're going to need are plain flour, unsalted butter, it does say vanilla extract is optional so I'm just going to add a little bit in, light brown sugar, white granulated sugar, cocoa powder, bicarbonate of soda, baking powder and then some sea salt. So that's for the actual cookies and then obviously whatever you're going to put inside it. So I think in her recipe it was dark chocolate, normal chocolate and white. I've just gone for Milky Bar and Galaxy so I'm just going to finally chop it all. And I think it said you needed 300 grams of chocolate. Um, I think there's just over 300 within them. I'll pop everything in the description box down below. What I'll do is I'll just put the link to the recipe that I'm following. But I'm actually really excited you know, because I've not made cookies. Well, I, I generally cannot remember the last time that I made cookies. Barring cookie bar, which is a little bit different, isn't it? Just like your normal standard cookie. I feel like these are going to be really, really nice. So, okay, what do we need to do first? First things first. Add your butter and sugars to a bowl and beat until creamy. Okay, so we need 125 grams of unsalted butter. And what else was it? Sugars. 100 grams of light brown sugar, 75 grams of white granulated sugar. Okay, I've added the butter and I've added the sugar and it just says beat until creamy. So that's what I'm going to do. I've also just realised as well that part way through the recipe it tells you to leave the cookie bot, like put them into cookie balls, put them in the freezer for half an hour. I'm not going to do that. I'm literally just going to put them straight in the oven. And I feel like this is sometimes where I go wrong with baking. I just go with the flow and make it up as I go, but that's what I'm going to do. I haven't got half an hour to put it in the freezer, do you know what I mean? I'm just going to put it straight in. Also, with my Jane Patisserie book, I honestly feel like I bought that book. It must have been over a year ago and I've never, ever, ever used it. And I was talking to Tommy's sister the other day because they've got it. And I was like, that's so weird that I've never used it. And I bought it because I thought it'd be ideal to just have the book open and follow the recipe. You know, instead of having to go on your phone and try and find the recipe and your phone keeps going off and you've got mucky, do you know what I mean? I just thought the book would be ideal. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a pack. I think every single month we should bake something from the Jane Patisserie book together. We can do like a little bit of a bake along. Do you know what I mean? Every month, something from the book, Let's give it a go because I feel like I always bake the same things. And I don't know about you guys, but I actually really think baking is very therapeutic. So I'd like to bake a little bit more because I really enjoy it. And I feel like I went through a stage of baking all the time. At Christmas, Christmas is just, I mean, it's non-negotiable. At Christmas you bake. Like I feel like I bake loads at Christmas, but I'd like to start baking a little bit more when it's not Christmas. So I feel like every month, maybe in the vlog, I'm going to bake something from this book. And we can do it together and we can try some new stuff. By the way, how nice does that cake look? That cake looks unreal. But for today, we're just going to go off the side. Anyways, I'm actually going to use my whisk because I feel like this is going to speed it up a little bit. I also forgot to say as well, you will need a medium egg. So everything I said at the start, plus an egg. I mean, I've only got large, so we're just going to wing it. We're just going to go with a large egg. This is exactly what I mean. Um, but yeah, medium egg, add that into the ingredients. Like I say, I'll just leave everything down below for you.
these are done i've just put them into little balls like i said on the website it did say once they're rolled into balls put your cookie dough in the freezer for 30 minutes or so or in the fridge for an hour whilst the cookie dough is chilling preheat your oven i'm gonna skip that bit i've literally just put them into the balls and i'm putting them straight in the oven um so what i've done it made eight these recipes i've put four on that tray four on that tray i'm gonna put them in the oven for i think it says was it 12 to 14 minutes 12 to 14 minutes and then once baked leave them to cool on the tray for 30 minutes so i'm going to put them in now for about 12 minutes i'll keep checking i'll then leave them to cool for half an hour and then i will check back in fingers crossed let's all pray this has gone well because i don't actually have i ever even made cookies like this i don't actually think i have so this could be a first so let's all pray they go okay i've just took the cookies out of the oven i think i left them in for just under 13 minutes about 12 and a half minutes i'd say um but this is what they're looking like how good I'm sorry, look at that one. How good do them look? I'm so glad I only put four on a tray as well because if I'd have put any more, they'd have all merged together. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave them for half an hour whilst I get on with the cupboards. And then hopefully, oh my God, they look so good. Tommy's going to absolutely love those so much. So it's now quarter past four, so I'll leave them till quarter to five. But in the meantime, we're going to start organising. So the main cupboards that I want to organise, this one down here is actually okay. I need to sort the drawers because they are an absolute tip. This is actually quite embarrassing to show, but this cupboard is just an absolute dumping ground. It's such a mess. Like There'll be so much stuff in there that just needs to go in the bin. So I want to sort that one. I also want to sort this one because it's also a mess. So them two are the main ones. That one's actually okay. That's our, our glasses and mugs. That's fine. So them two are fine. Them two need doing. Drawers. And then this one, to be fair, is pretty much okay. I just want to give that one a little bit of a wipe down. But I really, really cannot be bothered to do this at all. Especially at this time now when I've just finished baking. Like, not one bit of me wants to do it. But I know that I'm going to feel so much better for doing it. The reason I bought these baskets, which I can now show you a little bit better, actually because I've took the thing off them so these are the small ones look and then you also get that big one as well and um, but the reason that I bought them was to put in this cupboard here because honestly that cupboard is just such a mess I feel like just a bit of organization in there will help yeah I'm gonna get on with it I'm gonna put you on a time lapse if you need to do this hopefully this is motivating you guys as well because it is most definitely one of those jobs that you just really don't want to do that's why I feel like I've made a list of all the places and the things that I do want to organise and I'm just going to do one thing at a time because I know for a fine fact if I'd have said right I'm going to do understairs cupboard, cupboards, bedside drawers and everything today it just wouldn't have happened. I'd have felt too overwhelmed. So I'm just going to do this today and then another day I'll do the bathroom drawers and all the other stuff that I've got to do. because I remember saying to you guys I'll check the cookies in half an hour it's now five to five so pretty much 45 minutes not even an hour and I've done one two two big cupboards two big drawers and I actually feel so much better for doing it so in this cupboard it just looks so much neater like, honestly the amount of stuff I had to bin because it was out of date like tins do anyone feel like when you first move into your house you stock your covers up with tins and then you just never eat them all? So lesson learned, I just don't buy as much stuff like that anymore because we don't use it. So we've had a really good clear out of that. Everything is now looking like, I mean, sorry, that is so neat for us. Tommy came down and he's like, oh my God, that's making my OCD happy. So that's the first one. And then sorted this, which again, before just did not look 
like tidy at all it was so messy now that's all organized this drawer in here was an absolute tip before probably still looks a bit of a mess but it's an organized mess and then also this drawer here again organized mess and then like i say this cupboard to be fair i had a bit of a white brown but that one's all right that's one we use most of the time so yeah i'm feeling honestly so so much better for doing it if you've been putting it off do it just make a list of the things that you want to do and like i said just do one thing at a time because i feel so much better i think i am maybe i might do the bathroom drawers tomorrow morning um but that'll literally be a white brown change the baskets over done that will literally take me half an hour not even that and then maybe in another vlog another time we'll do something else i've got the understairs covered i've got my dressing table drawer and my bedside table drawer anyways tommy's just came down he didn't know i was baking and he looked at the cookers and he was like can I have one? So we're going to shout him because he's really, really desperate to have one. This is what they're looking like now. They honestly look so, so good. I'm so happy with them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a tray now. And then we can see, I'm hoping that they're gooey in the middle because they've gone hard now on the outside. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they're nice and gooey. But I'm sorry if I do so say myself, they look unreal. This is what we're looking like. I'm honestly so excited to try one. I've just opened one up. Oh, I can't even pick it up, it's falling to pieces. That's how gooey it is in the middle. So maybe I don't know if they need to be like left a bit longer, but we're gonna try them anyway. Tom, do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? Yeah. Got a cookie, it's like running down the stairs. I might need a bowl for this because I feel like, look at that in the middle. Wow. I've never Hi vlog by the way. Oh yeah, you've not been in the vlog today. I haven't. This is oh the by first the way time. guys, Tommy's got his cargoes on. I said, oh. I said we'd show it in a vlog. What I thought to them. Oh, we're down here. You like them, don't you? Absolutely love them. I mean, I don't know what they look like without my trainers on, but no, they look cool. I like like the size of them here. They're, They're like, lovely, aren't they? All over my trainers they real look nice. really, really nice. The only part of them I don't I'm not hundred percent sure on is this. Yeah, but, but you can tuck it in. We're tucking it in, yeah. in there. You look cool. I said in the last in my Primark haul, I ain't shown you them yet. But for anyone who's like what you want about, I'll link my Primark haul up there. I've got yeah. some of them. Yeah. Right. These little bad boys from Primark. Primark is special. <sighs> and they're absolutely Are they beautiful, nice fit, comfy. Are they? Highly recommend. Right, I'm gonna them. try this pat. Oh god. Oh yeah. Wow. This I didn't hat. even know she was baking. I know. I just said that. Oh. What? I don't think I've ever made dream. cookies, have I? I've never seen you make these. No, me neither. I'm going for this You're bad boy. You're going for the full one? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> we don't do half measures. Right, are we ready? Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that melted in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is good. That. Wow, it's all stuck to the top of my mouth. That is good. <laughs> I can't speak because they're just stuck in my mouth. They were... I'd say 90% mm. better than what I thought they were going to be. Really? How many of that? Looking at them, they look nice, don't get me wrong, but they don't, they look a bit dry and they are not dry. That was just... They're really soft in the middle, aren't they? Oh, they're so soft. That is just Do you good. know that would be good with? Oh, good looking. In the microwave with some ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Would it? Honestly, they are wow. so good and they're really gooey in the middle as well. Do you know what? It'd be nice if I didn't put the cocoa powder in as well so they weren't chocolate cookies, they were normal cookies. Mm. We should try that next time. I'm actually going to give that a 10 out of 10 for what it is. Unbelievable. Mm. Very sickly. Very sickly. Like one is yeah, half is more than enough. enough. Yeah. You're doing a really good job there, Els. I have, haven't I? Yeah. Well done. Baking skills are top notch now. What is it? <laughs> Well, they're not the bar. No, but I feel like for me, it's either a Betty Crocker here, which is just mm -hmm. a box, or it's cookie dough. That's all I ever make. Yeah. Oh, at Christmas, I'm, I feel like I'll come hey, alive at Christmas. You come alive at Christmas. <laughs> you do. I was just saying to these guys, once a month, I'm going to try and make something different. Oh yeah. Mm. Look that. Well, yeah. What's your rating? Eight. Eight. Point nine. What? <laughs> what is with you in point nine? What? Like what? Oh my god! Are you so messy, honestly? Mm. 
That is so good. 5.9, what could make them better? Well, what am I rating them on? Yeah, just cookies. Yeah. <laughs> 8.9 is a good score. Mm. 9.0. Okay. Nine. Nine. Do you know what, actually, I might agree. I think I might like them if they weren't, I'd prefer them, sorry, if they weren't like chocolate. Yeah, maybe. They were so, basically, so like, everything we did minus the cocoa powder. Gooey and chocolatey and sickly, I would say. Maybe just chocolate chip cookies, not chocolate cookies. Mm. Does that make Don't sense? Don't get me wrong. When I'm saying the chocolate is gooey and whatever, they still beautiful. Tommy's a chocoholic, mm. so he would like that, but yeah. I'm not. But like, one full cookie was mental. That was mm. mad. And they're big cookies, aren't they? Big cookies. So good though. Well done. High five to me. High five to you. So it's now a little bit later on and we are on our way to the cinema. What is it that we're going to see? <laughs> Something about a train. <laughs> Honestly, I bullet, cannot. Bullet train? Is that what it's called? Yeah, think, it might be, you know. Yeah, I feel it like It might that. have got that bang on. Bullet train. Bullet train. I'm not going to lie, I don't have a clue what to expect. You're the one that picked it. Yeah, you, you just wanted to go to the cinema and I remember when we came to watch maybe like Maverick or something like that. Mm -hmm. This was at one of the trailers, right. and I remember thinking, oh, "That looks all right." Probably like, well, I always that? just go for your judgment with films. You do, don't you? Because I always think I wouldn't like something, and you say you will. I feel like I love it. you like a lot of films that you actually watch. Obviously, I'm not going to take you here and to see some. See, like some watch. about aliens. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah. that's just not. You I know, know that I wouldn't want to see. You kind of like you know the kind of things that I like to watch. Yeah. Are. But I think I'm quite easily pleased with the film. I was going to say, I think that I'm into the same sort of films that you are. Yeah. Obviously, you like your rom-coms and stuff, which oh, maybe yeah, I wouldn't necessarily sometimes like. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, I'm a rom-com kind of guy. <laughs> but, like, these type of films... Action films, action, action films are our favourite genre. Genre. But it's the genre. What's that, TikTok? <laughs> That's the bad mean? bitch genre. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say. Well, I do love like a rom com, like, but like for us both, we're both yeah, enjoying yeah. action. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll let you know what it's like. To be honest, I was really close to coming and seeing Top Gun. Top uh, Gun. It's called, yeah, Top Maverick. Yeah, Top I was really Maverick. close to wanting to come and see that again. You were just saying that it must have been a really popular film if it's still out. Cause I think it was a hellish. That's literally been out for months now, but I honestly can't remember what was the last film we came to see in the cinema. Generally, can't think. Oh, what was that last film we came to see in the cinema? I have no idea. I don't remember. We came to see Summer not that long ago. Not that long ago. Anyways, I feel like I'm excited to go to the cinema. We yeah, love the cinema, but I feel like annoy me. in the um, winter, we were just saying you tend to come a lot more in the winter, don't you? I feel like they bring a lot more films out in the winter purely because obviously in summer, not many people go to the cinema because it's nice night, everyone's down beach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't even come that much in summer, do we? In yeah. winter. In summer. In summer. Ah. We, come, we come more in the winter, but we still do enjoy to come in the summer. <laughs> come any year. Anyways, we've got our um, snacks. We've got, I've got my snack bag. Got you snack what? bag. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even think it's tight bringing snacks with you. It's not I tight think it's at more, all. No, I think it's smart. Absolutely. I honestly think it's smart. But honestly, we always bring. If we want popcorn or we want anything like that, we always buy it from the cinema, don't we? Like popcorn, ice cream, drinks. We always get drinks in there. We never like bring our own drinks or anything, do we? Really? Sometimes. If we want like a milkshake or something like that that you can't get in the cinema, but usually. Drinks, popcorn, mm. ice cream. Is that your phone? Yours, I think. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, drinks, popcorn, ice cream, we always buy in the cinema, don't we? Yeah, we do. I feel like popcorn isn't the same if you go to Tesco's and buy the popcorn as it is if in the cinema. If you get a bag of popcorn from Tesco, it's not the same. It's not the same. Popcorn. But sweets, crisps, sorry, sweets, chocolate, and like Doritos, I feel like you're stupid if you buy you're, in the you're cinema. You're ridiculous. Because you I bought some sweets from Morrison's today, a pound a bag. For them exact same Pound sweets. Pound a bag. Literally. I like it. For for them exact same sweets in the view, they're three pound ninety nine. Ain't it Ridiculous. though? I don't so know I why feel you like would. I feel like I understand popcorn, ice cream, everything like that because we're the same. But I feel like if you just want sweets and chocolate, you're silly to not go to the shop beforehand. Do you know what I mean? Be prepared. 100%. So we have what? Be blue prepared. Doritos. 
I nearly wanted to sing that. Blue Doritos, we've got Jelly Tots. We've got Magic Stars. Magic Stars. They're and my... we've got Fruit Gums. Oh, I've got a nice selection tonight. But that's the thing, like, they, all of them, all of these would be 3 99 each. Oh, 100%. I spent about, what, one, two, three, four pounds, five pounds in Morrison's. Smash it out. Because I don't want popcorn tonight. I'm going to get a drink. I'm going to get a drink in there, though, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, there are snacks of Spoiler choice. Um, Plus, I, I don't know if we've ever actually told you this, but... The cinema at York, the View Cinema at York, was one of five in the country. I'm led to believe this might not be gospel. Don't hold it to me, but I'm led to believe they had like there was a competition running or something where the View were going to cut five cinemas across the country at the price, mm. and York was one of them that was chose. So the York at Clifton Mall View is down to like four ninety nine a seat. Mm. Mm. Not anymore. Really. <laughs> I didn't know it that. depends now. They've gone a bit. When York first did the cinema up, and like every seat now in in York View is a reclining seat. They're really comfortable, aren't they? Like they used Beautiful. to be normal seats, and then you paid extra for reclining. Now, then? So then they they did the reclining, and then they did this offer, didn't they? Yeah. Whereas now it depends where you sit. If you sit at the front, middle, or back, the most popular seats are like eight ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Whereas the not so good seats are four ninety nine. You're joking. So I'm paying seven ninety nine now. Yeah, Ain't but that. I get discount free work, so we still get it for four ninety nine technically, but it's not it's not Still uh, Yeah, but it's crazy. That. By the way, look at this massive spot on my when head. When did that happen? It's that's like blown me away that. Yeah, it depends where you sit. I still think that's cheap for the view. I still oh, yeah. bet that's cheaper than the others because it's still got all the signs up inside saying that it's mm. it was one of five. Yeah, because we went to Cine World once when it first, basically one in York up, and it was a few years ago now, wasn't it? And we were like, oh, let's go try it out. When we didn't even out. think the seats were as comfortable. I didn't like it. I well, mean, we it didn't might do the have 4D. changed. It we might, didn't... yeah, but the, the, we went for like the standard ticket, and it was like, was it like, it was expensive. It was a lot more expensive. Oh, yeah, it was like eighteen quid. It was a lot sure more expensive than the view, and it was like you don't mind paying more if it's comfier. But it was them seats mm. where they were reclining, but you had to. How do you explain it? You had to push it back yourself and hold it back. Do you yeah, remember? Yeah, you. It, yeah, not hold it back. It, you, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, like really your weight pushed it back. Didn't yeah, it? something like Whereas, that. Whereas, like the York view, it's like automatic, and you. It's, it's like just an like a no, It's like a normal. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're rambling on now. Yeah. What time is it? Time we should be going in to see yeah. the advert. We're gonna go see the film and then when we come back we will give you a bullet train. Yeah, we've already said that. Oh sorry. I, <laughs> thought, I, I just saw it come up on your view thing. Has it just come Bullet train. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. There you go, there's your final answer. But we'll let you know what it was like when we've been in. We've just come out of the film. What time is it? My phone's. I said. have no idea. It must be about eleven, surely. Yeah, five to eleven. Five to eleven. What did you reckon to the film? <laughs> It wasn't great, was it? It was an okay watch. It wasn't it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good at the same time as what I would say. But yeah, I wouldn't like, recommend going to watch it. It wasn't no. I would rate it a five out of ten. What would you rate it? Yeah, but not much more. Yeah, five out of five point one. Oh god sake. Out of ten. Do you know what? Like it wasn't one of those films where I was sat there like, is it gonna end? No. I'm waiting for it to end, but I also was wasn't loving it. Wasn't like wow, do I want this to end? Yeah, um, I was the same. It was nice to go back to the cinema, wasn't it? It like was we nice to go to the cinema. Yeah, absolutely. Another good cinema trip. But anyways, guys, we are going to go ahead and end today's video here. We really, really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to go down below, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. As always, thank you so so much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.